guys um just gonna do a few videos of a review i've got about 50 videos up now and i think i'm gonna do this one on ammo that i shoot or have shot uh i guess i'll start out with a random one um first this right here ppu um this is a this is a funny right here i went and t went to the gun show and uh, if you see my videos i own a uh, m9130 and I uh, found out they had a revolver that kind of matched that uh, rifle, and I wanted the revolver. So I went to a gun show. Uh, only one booth had this gun. Bought the gun. Wasn't really sure what kind of ammo it took. Uh, the guy was like, hey, go over here to this guy. He, he sells all the ammo. He's like, he'll know exactly what it is. Well, he sold me this. Yeah. Could not test it, obviously, in there to see if it could fit. Because, you know, can't do that inside the gun show. Went to my car, uh, it didn't fit. I did not turn around and go back to swap it because it was about 10,000 people too many for me to want to go back in that place. It wasn't shoulder to shoulder, it was chest to chest and I was about to go insane. So I was just like, not a big deal. I'll just ride down to the, a gun shop on the way home. And when I got to that gun shop, it was $40 a box. I was like, ah, not even worth it. Um, thought I'd go online and order some ammo. I found another place out of Texas. It's like $23 a box. But with shipping, come out to $37. I was like, oh man. So I end up just selling the gun and I'm kind of stuck with this ammo. Um, I have no clue how this bullet shoots or anything about it. Um, don't own the gun. Uh, not a bad looking round. Uh, kind of hard to see right here. Um, again, there's nothing I can really do with it. I thought about maybe giving it away. Something I can't do anything with it. Uh, don't know. I'm going to move on. And I shoot a ton of skeet. A ton of skeet. And I was shooting this. I have ended up swapping to Federal. Um, I'm gonna try some federal out. This is actually really good ammo. Uh, just decided to swap. Fed, uh, been shooting this for uh, ah, probably about 800 rounds, and I uh, just wanted to finish up the last little bit. I've got two boxes of this left, so I've got 50 rounds left. So I like it. It's pretty good for skeet. It's not bad. Not bad at all. And of course, everyone sees the the novelty ammo, little zombie max for today, uh, double lock. Not bad, I haven't shot any of it. Kind of, my son's into the zombies and all this stuff with the Call of Duty. So he, he's seen that the local gun store had this. And it's like, buy a box, buy a box. I'll probably never shoot it. Um, really don't, I don't know, really have a reason to go shoot it. It's more like a novelty thing. If anything, I'll just go buy all the other calibers too and just kind of collect them. And then, here we go, I'll do the the Federal. Here I got a spent case. It's a hollow point. Um, this, I like this. Federal is great. I have this big box ammo. I have enjoyed shooting this right here. Um, I, had, I, I cannot quite remember. I, I had another 550. Uh, brick of ammo of another kind and oh my god absolutely horrible junk this i have had nowhere near the problems with uh rounds being bad not firing just something continuously wrong i i you know hold hold 10 round clip in the 22 it seemed like every single clip there was an issue with some round and I, I remember what color the box was I just know to stay away from that box I can't remember who makes it could be Remington for all of that I, I can't remember or Winchester I just thought it was junk ammo this Federal has shot great um, highly recommend this maybe other people have had issues with this I on the other hand have not this has been Excellent ammo. Move along. The blazer. 
45 round. That's what grain we got here. We got 230 grain FMJ. This uh, this is not bad. Not not bad ammo at all. I think I have shot Blazer out of my 45 probably 99% of the time. Um, dirty, obviously yes. Affordable to practice. Um, you know, I'll just, I'll just, you know, if I'm carrying my 45, I'll just leave this in the clip, you know, and just carry it along with me. Um, you know, just inexpensive to shoot, you know, compared to some of the other rounds, especially when you get into hollow points, you know. So, um, I like this ammo. Again, not the best, but eh, just to uh, shoot around with. I, I, I like it. Not bad. And of course, go over here to the. 380 ammo actually run two different kinds on this got the blazer uh, 380 95 grain TMJ um, we got a uh, pocket pistol this is this round's got some punch we actually had to got some other ones with a running another uh, type of ammo two loot old Russian ammo Try to get something with a little bit less in it. Uh, running 91 grain on that one. Um, it was a little much for the girlfriend uh, and her wrist. I, you know, not not an issue for me. Uh, for her, it was it was a bit punchy. So, um, not not bad. Uh, I mean, not not actually not too dirty either. You know, I expected a little bit more. You know, dirtiness, I guess, coming out of. Uh, blazer since I you know I shot my 45 and whew, it's uh it'll leave a mess on the front of the gun sometimes but uh, not too bad you know pretty inexpensive to shoot again you know for that and I guess we'll go over here swap over to this the old either people like it or people hate it I don't really have an opinion either way it's ammo I'll tell you right now if it's the last thing that a store's got and you need ammo you're gonna buy it that's all, all there is to it 380 uh, 91 grain FMJ I have not shot any out of the Ruger yet this is brand new box I know it doesn't look it it's been sitting in a bag for a few months uh, again you know hopefully this won't be a snappy for her hopefully it'll take a little bit of that edge off again it's not gonna cause me any problems whatsoever put that over here this is interesting. I don't know how many people know about this or care about this or whatever. I, I do not have a spent case of this here. I have not shot this ammo at my house. I went to a buddy's house and shot this. This ammo is great. It's 115 grain FMJ bullet. Uh, man, this has got to be one of the cleanest rounds I have ever shot. Uh, just, I mean... It's, it's just incredible it's actually says environmentally friendly um i'm actually going to try to see if i can get some of this in 45 which i'm sure i can i just got to go back to the local gun shop here in waxall to pick some up or you can order me some i'm for sh i'm sure uh man i am actually impressed with this how just clean and you know just well it shot I mean I was I was like really 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 surprised um, first time I've ever shot anything from PMC and uh, was impressed you know I don't know maybe other people don't care for it not sure but I sure was and we got old plentiful box of 9 millimeter 115 grain uh, oh God. 100 rounds. Uh, again, cheap. You can buy them in bulk. Things is like 25 bucks, maybe. Not bad. Uh, practice, practice rounds. Other than that, I mean, it's dirty. Uh, let's see. I mean, it's just dirty. I mean, I, I don't. So every time you shoot this, shoot this ammo, it's like, man, the front of your gun is just covered in just mess. Uh, inside too. Uh, but I mean, it's fun to get outside and just plank away, I guess, you know, send some downrange, practice. Obviously, you're not going to practice with anything good. Uh, 
But yeah, it's, it's not bad. Again, you know, it's just cheaper to buy in bulk. That's what we do. Of course, it's a brand new box. It doesn't look like it. I just opened it. I just sitting in there for a couple months. Just haven't had time to break it out and shoot the nine millimeter. Then uh, I'll run, do this one right here. It's a uh, Tula, I'm sure. This is a 40 grain. This actually isn't mine. I shot this round, I believe. It's a Smith & Wesson 40 round. Can't remember the gun I shot. It's my buddy's gun. And uh, all, all this spent ammo has been sitting outside for two or three months at least in a uh, barrel I keep uh, it in. I don't leave shells at all on the ground. And for this reason right here, like you know, get some of the steel casings. It's just gross. It's just gross. I, I just I don't like trash in the yard or nothing like that. And, uh, I guess that's about it on that one. And we'll go over here to the two two three rounds. This is interesting. This is uh, you know, the Tula two two three. Not sure. Uh, don't have a box on me. Grain fifty grain something like that. This actually shot good out of my AR. Um, I know people hate it. Some people love it. I don't really have an opinion either way. I've never had um, fail to eject on it. Some people say they have tons of fail to ejects on this. N haven't had it at all. Um, but again, I mean, you're out of ammo. You know, you need ammo. You're going to buy what you're going to buy. Uh, fortunately, I bought, you know, some other ammo plus the Tula since I you know I just wanted to try it out again no problems but on the other hand got the I believe it was Remington uh, 50 grain all right this ammo not bad but I've had some issues out of this ammo uh, again this is my opinion only I mean, other people could say this is right here garbage to them this is way better ammo that that's awesome glad you guys maybe have had better times with it but this is what I pulled out of one case there's the bullet still in it garbage I, I don't you know I'm not gonna yeah it's just I don't understand this is like uh maybe it's a box they made on Friday people ready to get out of there um, I've had this in more than one box and usually when I go in there I'll buy you know as much you know up to a hundred rounds at a time and it's just like man you know it's a little bit more you know in the medium price range 12 to 15 dollars a box when you get 20 rounds usually I try to buy the 40 round boxes so it's obviously a little bit more um, I don't really want to waste my money <laughs> um, money's hard to come by as it is anyways for anybody uh, definitely not trying to waste any and of course I mean guys this is just my opinion you know you guys could maybe have had this problem with this ammo and I just have gotten a look at the draw with this and not so much with this but uh yeah I'm just not happy at all with the Remington definitely gonna try another round and uh, we'll keep you know shoot this a few more times see what's the deal you know like I said not really not really having I don't really have an opinion on this this eh, not not so not so happy anymore after several hundred rounds and then we got the Mosin round uh, surplus ammo bought I don't know say probably about 100 120 rounds 140 rounds I don't know it's 20 round packs uh, got a bunch of you know paper wrapped packs back there uh, big round I mean I like it I enjoy I enjoy this round it's a it's a bullet <laughs> That's a big one. That's a 223 sitting right beside it. Let's even it up a little bit. That's uh, a lot more bullet. And uh, if you're talking about, let's just go, let's just swap this to that right there. Price difference, you know, $8, $9 for 20 rounds. You know, talking about 11 to $15 for 20 rounds. This is obviously five six bucks for 20 rounds but yeah it's uh i enjoy shooting this this is a this is a fun round to shoot it lets you know you're shooting something well, i guess that's it guys that's my review uh definitely made this video long enough hope you enjoyed it make comments criticize something that 
you didn't like that I said.